have since published three patterns in total and then I went full-time HDDC. So I am a full-time crochet designer. Now, before you get really, really excited, I'm not an overnight success. I put a lot of work in those in-between points that you have had, um, but I do hope that I can be an inspiration to so many of you because living your dream is beyond amazing as cheesy as that sounds. And now I have started the HDDC hub, which is where I teach aspiring designers just like you how to publish your pattern to build an income stream. Hey creators, welcome to HD Designs Crochet The Hub. I'm Heather and I am the owner, founder, maker behind HD Designs Crochet and I'm mostly known for my patterns that incorporate the humble granny square. And now I have started the HDDC Hub, which is where I teach aspiring designers just like you how to publish your pattern to build an income stream. So a little bit of history of how I got to this point, just in case you're not familiar with my other channel, which is linked above. So I actually learned to crochet over a decade ago when I was at university. And during that time, I was learning law. I studied law and I graduated with a first class honours and I've since gone on to become a qualified lawyer but whilst I was studying I learned to crochet I learned to make the granny square and I would make them during my revision breaks I would make them I just I just cranked out hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of granny squares and then I went on to try out other bits and pieces within the crochet and knitting world um, and then that led me to start a blog and then it also took me to Instagram and from the very start, I included the word designs because I wanted to design my own patterns. So fast forward about a year or so, and I decided to take to YouTube as well. And I started my first channel and I would just show anything I was working on. Um, I would do vlogs on whatever whips, whatever patterns I was working on, whatever items I finished. There's never as many finished items as whips. Anyway. And I also um, started to dabble in design, in making my own crochet garments. There's only so much you can make with a granny square in terms of blankets. And I definitely had made more than my fair share of blankets and didn't really need any more. And so I started to play around with the granny square in garment design. And as I started to show my patterns, more and more of my tribe were asking for the patterns to be published so they could meet their own version. So then I had to learn how to take my design and make it so that I could sell it, which took me quite a long time of trial and error and trying and trying and trying. So I did that and I published my first pattern in August 2020 and I have since published three patterns in total and then I went full-time HDDC. So I am a full-time crochet designer. Now, before you get really, really excited, I'm not an overnight success. I put a lot of work in those in-between points that you have had. Um, but I do hope that I can be an inspiration to so many of you because living your dream is beyond amazing, as cheesy as that sounds, it really is. Um, so after releasing my patterns, I then started to get requests um, on how I have released my own patterns. So I would get questions like, how do you do this? How do I learn to do what you've done? Um, and in all honesty, because I was self-taught, I used a mixture of free resources. I spent a lot of time frustrated, crying, overwhelmed, um, and it wasn't it wasn't a straightforward process. And a lot of people that come to me and say, "I want to do what you're doing, but I don't know where to start," I hear you. I honestly hear you, and I feel your pain. 
and so I had this idea to make what I'd done into a handbook so that other people like you could become a crochet designer and so the HD Designs Crochet Handbook was started and side note you'll notice I like alliteration with the H's so I'll just pepper them wherever I can <laughs> I was gonna say sprinkle sprinkle them wherever I can um, and so the handbook was born and I started to write out the ideas and there was that much information to put into this handbook that it's now actually been created in the in the form of four different workbooks so the four workbooks lead on to each other the first one which I've written and which is with beta testers at the moment is how to size grade a pattern the second one which I've almost finished writing how to launch your pattern the third one is business foundations and the fourth one is business growth now I chose to go straight in there with the size grading rather than business foundations because that is what most people want to learn and I think once you've then got to grips with that you can then focus on the other parts that you need to or want to learn to become a successful crochet designer. Um, so, as I said, workbook one is currently with beta testers. It's being tested just like a pattern would be tested to make sure that it actually works. All 11 of my beta testers currently have a copy of workbook one, which is just here. Now it was sent to them in a PDF format but I have printed it out just so you can see exactly how much has gone into this and to help you understand why it is a four part workbook series. And I made the decision when I went full time HDDC to separate out the hub from HDDC. So HDDC is where I post to my tribe all about the patterns that I'm working on. It is for people who want to make patterns, who have an appreciation for crochet and who maybe want to add to their wardrobe themselves. Whereas the hub is for new and aspiring designers who want to create their own patterns, who want their own business income from their passion. And so I split those two out because they are two completely different audiences and also so that I could have a platform to post about both without drowning out my patterns or drowning out the business side of it. Um, and I'm really enjoying running both of those Instagram accounts. Make sure you go and check both of them out. So on HDDC, which I'm sure you're most likely already following, I post um, everything behind the scenes in my life. So I have a puppy, his name is Albie. You see a lot of what he gets up to. It's not always good what he gets up to. I post a lot of crochet updates. I quite often post that I've set myself a goal of X amount of granny squares and I see if you lot think I can do it or not. I did reach the last one. Um, and I also show what I'm working on, like swatches, samples, um, my whips and how they're progressing and of course my finished patterns. And then on the side of HDDC I also have Patreon which is for my tribe stars. Tribe stars pay a monthly subscription and they get additional vlogs and they also receive patterns on the months that they are released as well as part of their subscription fee and we also do zoom crochet chats which I really really enjoy doing. And then on the creator side of things, we have the hub. And that is for anybody such as yourself who wants to learn how to turn their designs into crochet patterns to sell. And I also show you how to use a spreadsheet to do the size grading and all the formulas and symbols that come with it. So there is so, so much information to share with you. And I have so, so many plans for this channel and I really, really hope that you enjoy seeing it. Not only will I be teaching you what I've already learned, but you'll also get to come along with me in what I am learning and see behind the scenes day to day of being a crochet designer. So I'm going to do studio vlogs, which will be um, 
I'll just show you what I'm doing in a typical week as a crochet designer. So you'll get to see me expand and grow how many patterns I've got. Um, I have a huge, huge amount of plans for this year, which includes like over 20 patterns. So you'll see all of that and how I keep everything going. Um, you'll also see the things that I struggle with and the things that I find really good. Um, and I really enjoy watching vlogs like that from some of my favorite graphic designers such as Capnip, but I don't really see anybody who is crochet or a knitter doing that. So I'm hoping by me sharing what I do day to day that you'll be able to see um, and maybe even help manifest your dreams because you need to surround yourself with people that are doing it to be able to get there yourself. I'm also going to share sale reports. So I'm going to be sharing details of how much it costs to publish a pattern and also how much I made from some of my patterns. Um, I've got some giveaways planned as well, but I'm going to share details of those in the giveaway vlogs. And I also have um, a the beginnings of a community growing as well. So alongside the workbook, I'm going to have a community where there is a monthly subscription and that means that all designers are together. We can go over some of the common issues, which in all honesty are mainly mindset, maths and organisation, like time planning, business organisation. So there will be monthly workshops, there will be chances to speak to other designers at all various different stages to be able to help each other. I really, really, really want to build a community. I really want to be able to teach other people what I have learned and I also want to be able to help other people to reach their own dreams. I also really want to help people make another income stream within their life. I think we've all come to the realisation after 2020 and the pandemic that is still ongoing, the job security is different now, it's fragile and that the best way to combat that is to have multiple streams of income and I'm going to talk about how you can build those different streams of income within vlogs that are coming as well. And I really do believe that if I teach other people how to do this, then it will change society because the average female or male, I'm not excluding anybody, but whoever learns to crochet then wants to turn that into an income stream in some way. And by giving people the tools to do that, you are then provided with financial security and another way to support your own family. And that will change society because when you're not dependent on another person or a company to pay your bills, that changes your lifestyle, that changes your entire outlook, that changes your well-being, your health, and having financial security is so, so important. And so if you can build an income stream doing what I do, then I want you to do it. The HGDC handbook is marketed for a crochet designer, but that does not mean that it excludes the knitter. If you are a knitter and you want to learn how to grade patterns, you can use this workbook. However, because crochet is my first love, I chose to specifically state crochet within the workbook. You can just swap that out for knitter. I've also tried to only use the pronouns they and their, so you can swap them for whatever your preferred pronouns are, so that it includes everybody. I'm also going to put vlogs out there that touch upon mental health um, and finances. For me, these have been two huge parts of my life. I have had my own mental health battles, which again, I will go into into another vlog. And then my finances have also been completely turned around thanks to HGDC. And to think that when I started my first channel, I was in thousands of pounds worth of debt and that I have now cleared those, not solely from selling patterns. I also did have a day job until a month ago. But knowing that I can now pay my own bills, pay my own salary and grow HGDC, completely changes my lifestyle and it's been a huge, huge change and one that I'm so incredibly grateful to have.
there isn't very many people out there that speak about finances amongst the crochet and knitting community and so it's really difficult to figure out how much it might cost to publish a pattern and how much you could potentially make it's really really hard to know and although what happens for me won't happen for everyone at least I can then help give a little bit of transparency behind the processes and behind the costs and behind the income that is generated from it. My whole reason, my why for creating the HGDC Hub is because I want to teach other people how to become a crochet designer. There must be hundreds of thousands, if not more, people just like me in a nine to five job that they've outgrown or that they despise or that is adding to health issues and they feel stuck or beholden because of money. And there are hundreds of thousands, of, if not millions of people who turn to crochet because of mental health reasons, because they find that it's mindful, relaxing, it's a way of them for them to process their feelings. And also there must be hundreds of thousands, if not more people out there thinking, how am I going to pay my bills this month? By teaching people how to create their own designs, how to publish their designs and how to build an income stream from it that I'm then handing them keys of freedom and that's something that I really really want to do because doing this for myself has changed my life hugely for the better in so many aspects and I really really want to do that for other people just like you who were or are just like what I was and it's really really important to me because I know that the majority of people watching this will be female and the majority will have children or dependent somebody who's dependent on you and you may feel that you are stuck at home or that you are needed at home and most definitely during the pandemic I think that things the statistics that I'm seeing throughout the pandemic of women that have needed to quit their job because they can't do daycare for their children and their day job is just devastating and it's scary because you shouldn't have to choose between looking after your children and trying to keep up with your job and I think things will change massively in terms of flexible hours, being able to work remotely more often um, but also I want to help those people that do feel stuck, that have passions, that have dreams, that have desires and maybe they are in a 9 to 5 corporate wheel and they don't want to be there anymore and I know for a fact that by teaching you and as many other people as I can that I will be able to change society and that is why I went and studied law because I wanted to change society. There's so many things that I see that are unjust, that are just, <laughs> there is so much injustice and inequality and so many things that need to change. And I know that I can change the community that I am part of, the crochet and yarn community, by teaching you how to sell your own patterns because for every person that does do that, then they have an additional income stream and that gives you choices and that gives you power over your own life, over your own lifestyle and that's huge and I want to do that for as many people as possible. When a person has a baby that doesn't mean that your career just stops and it doesn't mean that you have to choose between being there with your family or paying to put food on your family's table and I know that Certainly in the area that I have grown up in um, and for my family and for my friends and for my crochet community that the more women have their own income stream the more of a difference that would make to society because then the amount of girls, ladies, women, whatever you identify as, caretaker, caregiver can step forward and can make their own choices because they are not financially dependent on a corporation, a company or anybody else. That will be life changing and that's what I want to give to everybody. 
I want kids to grow up and see that their parents work as a team and that I want kids to grow up and see that you can start your own business, that you can have your own dreams and you can go out there and do that. I want kids to realise that you don't necessarily have to do the nine to five for the rest of your life. And although that uni is great and I wouldn't change going, it doesn't mean it's the, it's what is right for everybody out there. And I really want there to be different role models out there. There are so many ways for you to be able to pay your bills and you don't have to compromise you just choose what's important to you imagine how many children's lives will be different because their parents can actually stay at home rather than having to do a nine to five or double shifts to try and pay bills and imagine the impact that will have on that child that child's friends and it's just a ripple effect the amount of people that it can empower that it can set free that it can change their life Imagine the difference that it would make if kids grew up not worrying about money, not knowing what it is to be hungry or that you need to preserve food because it's got to last till the next time when he goes in your parents' bank account. And imagine how much it would change society if children saw and were exposed to different income streams that they were aware of money management and they, they learnt this from their parents, from their schools, it will make a huge, huge change and so I'm going to do that change through crochet. Okay creators, so my name's Heather, this is a HD Designs Crochet Hub, you can find me on Instagram and I teach people just like you, aspiring and new crochet designers, how to publish your patterns to sell them to build an income stream and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!